the start of a new week of Newsnight, now on BBC Two, with Jeremy Paxman. The future's dull, the future's grey, or is it? Why are some people now predicting better times could be on their way? Tonight, an extraordinary, encouraging prediction from the chairman of the US Federal Reserve. He thinks economic recovery could begin before the end of the year. We do have a plan. We're working on it. And I do think that we will get it stabilized and we'll see the recession coming to an end probably this year. Are we hearing the voice of reason or just more whistling to keep our spirits up? Good evening. Who to believe? The chairman of the American Federal Reserve Bank says the recession could end this year. Yet others are saying things are going to get plenty worse before they get any better. It wasn't a particularly spectacular day on the stock markets today, but there does seem a new mood abroad. Bank shares have improved and even oil went up a dollar a barrel today too. No one in their right mind is saying the end is nigh. But what is up? I, I think there are some encouraging signs. Obviously, just the sign that the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve would uh, have some optimism in his voice last evening in his interview is a positive sign and obviously has caused great reaction. Uh, I think what, what listening to all of your guests in the previous segment uh, is that uh, the conclusion is no one really knows. Everyone has a different opinion. But I think the fact that we are beginning to talk about the fact that there may be some signs of hope uh, is a good sign. I think it is very optimistic to think that we could have two quarters uh, in the remaining uh, period of this year that would g give one evidence of, a, uh, of the recession being over and, and progress moving forward is difficult to see. But uh, there are some signs that are positive. Will Hopper, uh, we near the bottom, do you think? I would think that we're perhaps near the bottom, but that we're not likely to see a very rapid increase from this point. I mean, it's important to say what economists mean by the word recession. They mean two uh, quarters of declining growth. Now, what we've had is a long period. We have a long period of economic expansion lasting 10 years. We've now gone into a recession with a very sharp fall in GDP. Now, what might happen next year is a small increase followed by a small increase. Um, and economists will say, ah, the recession's over, we're into a period of economic expansion. But it starts from a very low base, and there will be millions of people unemployed. Now, for them, the recession is not over. Don't forget that unemployment is a lagging indicator, yeah. as the economists say. And those people who lose their so, jobs this year might not find another job for two or three years. Uh, well, I would just point out that Mr. Bernanke actually qualified his opinion. He said... If we sort out the problems of the banking sector, now the United States, after, in spite of trying for two years, has not sorted out the problems of the banking system, certainly not as efficiently as the Europeans have yeah. done so. Um, I'm also concerned that if we did come out of the recession too quickly, we might be back in the sort of dot-com bubble of 2001. In other words, um, there, is a lot, there are a lot of problems to be sorted out, and an incre increase of lending by banks could create, in fact, a new bubble in four or five years' time. So what is it you time. want, then? I th well, I think Mr. Bernanke delivered two speeches last week. The other was to the Council of Foreign Affairs in Washington, I think it was on Monday, and it was a much gloomier speech, and he outlined in great detail all the problems facing the American and the global economy, and he outlined ways of addressing them. But I do think that, you know, the idea that we're coming out of this recession in any serious way in, within a year is illusory. And I think we have to address these fundamental imbalances. But it's interesting. He's a, po he's a policy maker, isn't he? Mm. And we hear a great deal from... Po Just a, a second, please, Mr. Dave. We hear a great deal from policy makers, and yet here we have... A guy who's going out, you're going out, Andy Bruff, and you're yeah. buying, aren't you? Yeah, I'm buying shares, you know, because that's my job, I buy and sell shares. Yeah. Mr. Dave, you were trying to get in there. Uh, I was just going to add that uh, I don't think there's anyone here, uh, no matter how optimistic they may be, that see any sort of V-shaped recovery, uh, as was indicated. I, I think uh, as recovery occurs, it will be a rather wide U-shaped recovery 
uh, with very little chance, and I do believe it may be illusionary if it was a V-shaped recovery, but I, I, I think it's pretty un, highly that's unlikely. That's the last thing we want is a V-shaped recovery. Uh, v shaped recovery, for, I mean, as a layman, I guess that's, you, it goes down like that, it goes up like that's that. That's it. And then, you know, right. trying to get the punch bowl away from the Parsi that quickly is quite hard. Mm -hmm. okay. well, that's why a, a wider U shape may be very, right. uh, very, very quick. In our book, we suggested that it was going to be rather like Japan's lost decade because the causes are the same and the results are much the same. And I fear that is likely to be true. In other words, I, I'm perhaps up to five, seven, ten years of stagnant, of economic stagnation. Okay. Thank you very much, chaps. Thanks.